Improv's Productions with a lucky number 13th material tutorial with the Unreal Engine 4 today, a 13th one. I named this one Translucency Transition Effect because that's exactly what we're going to make. We're going to make a material that transitions between opaque and translucent. And it's going to use like a noisy kind of noisy kind of effect. Because we like that noise, right? We play with the noise from time to time. You're probably like, well, what are we looking at here then? Uh, what is what is this all? It don't matter because we got this ball, huh? We're going to make a we're going to make this ball do stuff. This is a material I kind of kind of thought of on my own, guys. So I hope you guys really like it. It's going to be cool. It's going to be quick. A couple new things. So let's knock it out. Right click material. I'm gonna name it the capital letter T. Cause, Cause I like it. I'll double click it. Look, it made our window. Cause it knows how we do. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go in here. Two things, guys. First off, click on this. Make sure opaque is set to translucent. It's got to be translucent. And number two, guys, hold the number three. Plug it into base color because it's gonna be one color, and it's gonna be my favorite color. So it's it's my tutorial. So it's gonna be green, and it's gonna be bright and keep my attention. All right. So we need to mess with the opacity. It's gonna be a few new things here. So check it out. I want you to go to the noise. Create a Create a noise here. We'll go ahead and set it up the way we want it. I want you to change this right here. The, the, you got the different types here. Go to the bottom one, okay? And it'll open up quality. I want you to set it to the number two, okay? And I want you to set levels to three, and I want you to set level scale to three, okay? Now, this is gonna be set to 0 0.05, but before we're, done, we're, before we're done, we're gonna set it to 0 0.005, that way it works correctly on the mesh. Yeah, the scaling is just kind of weird on the sphere. It is what it is. Now, I want you to drag us back and I want you to right click and type in the word sphere. Okay, you're gonna see sphere mask, a little different here. Okay, you're like, what is going on there? I'm about to show you how it works. Hold the number one, get a little zero right here, plug it into A, plug the noise into B, okay? And then I'm gonna have you lerp this. So I want you to hold the letter L and plug this into your alpha. And then I want to, uh, Two constants. Hold the number one and get it two times. Plug the top one into A and plug the bottom one into B and turn the top one into one. Okay, so we got one in A and zero in B and we'll plug that into opacity. You're like, I, uh, I don't understand what's going on. And now, when it finally loads, and it'll take a few seconds, you probably won't see anything. <laughs> okay, now, we're going to make a material instance, so we need a parameter. I'm going to tell you why. So, hold the number one right here. Let's zoom in a little bit with the CTRL. I love that. Hold the number one. Right click on it. Convert to parameter. We're gonna name it, we're gonna name it BEEF. All kind of capital letters, boom, son. That's what I'm talking about, and I'm gonna plug it into radius, okay? Now, it's set to zero. So now that that's set to zero, we'll wait for this to load up, and what it'll be is it will probably be completely green. Oh, ho, ho. so what if I set this to 0.5 now? Let's see what I have to set to point, now it's zero. Think about that, at zero, it was green. It's, it's completely opaque, you know what I'm saying? At 0.5, what we have in here? Oh, uh-oh. Oh, the noise is kind of taking over. Well, instead of, what if I set it all the way up to like uh, 1.5? I bet now, if I'm correct, don't, 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 don't trust me for sure, but it might be completely translucent. It, oh, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? So we're going to use that. We're going to use a material instance to make it fade like that. But we need to make that noise sweet. And you know how we usually do it in the old tutorials. We make it all move and, and, and all kind of sludging looking. Right click and type in world. We're going to do the same thing we always do. World position. Absolute world position. And I'm going to drag a line and type in the word mask. I'm going to, I want selected. Control C, Control V down here. So I got two of them. Now the top one. Just the, just the red channel, selected, you see that here? And then this bottom one, just the green and the blue. So we got all three of them, they're just kind of separated. Drag a line from here and type in the word panner, because that's how we do it, okay? Now, you're gonna go ahead and change this to 100 and 100. It's gotta be done, it's gotta be done, you know what I'm talking about? And we're going to append, append, vector. I'm gonna, we're gonna append the green and blue, panning into the red, and plug that into the position of the, of the thing. Oh my gosh, I think, I think we're done. You know what I'm talking about, we got it. That's all we needed. Everything's set up. Now, one more thing to do. Go into the noise and set it to point zero zero five. Yes. And now what we're going to do is we're going to save it. Now, the thing about uh, translucent materials that have a few things going on here like this, it may take a few seconds to save. It's, honestly, it's a little higher on resources. I'm not going to lie to you. Not, not, not going to pull your leg there. You got to be careful. So whatever. But hey, let's jump in here and let's just have some fun. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to go back over here. Now, I need to make a material instance. I've got the, I got the T. Got a T right click, create material instance. Now it's a T instance. You know what I'm talking about? I can drag it on my ball. I got a big old green ball, and it's kind of it's kind of colorful. It keeps my attention. I can double click on this. Opens up my opens up my material instance. I got my beef right here. Okay, it's set to zero. We're gonna click it. Turn the beef on. Got that beef on now. And we're gonna scroll this thing up and see what happens to our ball. Okay, we're gonna pull it up in the air like that. See it real nice. Watch. Check it out. Uh oh. Oh, ho, ho. and as I keep going, it's gone, son. Translucent. 
and drag it back a little bit. Look at it all. Oh, God. Oh, what has happened? I could leave it right here. I can just leave it right here and check it out. This is a ball. Got a little, little leafy ball. Like a bunch of leaves, but they look real bad. Like somebody can't draw very well. And just, oh, it's fading back in. You could, you could have that kind of look. But the point is, zooming way in like that, if I see what's going on, you can actually see from zero. And like I said, you can, you can go a lot. You can go to any number. But zero and one is really all you're messing with. So while it's set to zero, all the way to about 1.5, I think. But as you fade in like that. Oh, completely gone. So you can do a quick transition. Have it full and then whoosh, or back in. Whoosh, you know what I'm saying? All kind of sound effects. I mean, you know, it's sweet, guys. It's fading in and out. All you know what I'm talking about? One more time. Let's get a, get a good view on it here. You see it right here? And I got it set to zero. One more good time here. Yeah, we're going to fade it in and fade it back out. Yeah, just, I like it. A little opaque, little translucent. Transition translucency effect I said it backwards but that's what it is guys you guys got it. it's freaking sweet man you can just sit here and do this all day and it looks cool different colors you could go double click right there to open it up you could you could drag this up here if you wanted to toy with it like this okay do whatever you want here just toy with that and see what it's doing make changes in here and it'll it'll reflect into your material instance and boom there you go guys hope this made some sense man it's kind of cool thanks for watching uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel guys deprived productions hit it up hit the Facebook page up there's a like button on there I want you to hit that Deprived Productions. I'm hope I'm helping y'all out. This was the 13th material tutorial. Again, Josh here, loving you guys, missing you guys all the time. Got all kind of cool stuff coming. More material videos, more blueprints and particles, and then we're gonna jump back into Pro Tools and all that. Some sweet music coming. Can't wait to show you guys. Please check it out. Most of the stuff is free, um, and some other sweet stuff. So yeah. Hope this guy's helped y'all. Hope this helped you guys out a little bit. A little green ball, all floating around, translucent, opaque with some transitions. Just Dig it, man. Get into it. Make some cool stuff and holler at me. Until then, peace. <laughs>